Уважаемые друзья, Dear friends, I'm sincerely pleased to welcome participants of uh, today's meeting. I do uh, expect that uh, it will uh, help to estimate uh, the trends in the development of uh, Russian and Indian trade partnership. To uh, identify new uh, uh, profitable uh, directions under these uh, always changing conditions. Uh, 2022, in many aspects, uh, became uh, unique in view of understanding and seeing new horizons for our cooperation. During 75 years of our diplomatic relations, we managed to accumulate uh, uh, significant experience in uh, nuclear industry, uh, defense uh, uh, industry, space exploration, science and uh, technology. And uh, today we see a new uh, benchmark uh, which calls us uh, to scale and to deepen our dialogue. Already today that we can say that uh, we will uh, reach even ahead of time the objective set by our leaders to reach the trade turnover uh, of 30 billion uh, dollars. Uh, this task was set uh, quite long ago, but we can see already with the preliminary results that we can reach it even earlier. Today, it happens mainly due to the supply of hydrocarbons from Russia into India, uh, plus fertilizers and uh, some agricultural products. At the same time, uh, we see a uh, picking of uh, interest from Russian business uh, to India, and we speak about all types of uh, companies, from uh, large corporations to small and uh, medium companies, and we see the same interest uh, on behalf of our Indian partners, and they believe my colleague uh, Pavan Kapul already mentioned that, and it's extremely important to uh, convert this interest into a practical uh, uh, actions. I think that regions should be more proactive in this respect. Of course, Moscow is uh, uh, a leader in the, uh, those relations. Moscow offers uh, trend-setting uh, solutions in uh, IT, uh, uh, city development, uh, uh, medicine, tourism. Uh, we already spoke about a recent visit of Moscow city government uh, to India, headed by Mr. Chairman. Uh, uh, Moscow is setting the trend for St. Petersburg, Morgovia, Ryazan, Novgorod, Kaliningrad, Murmansk, Chelyabinsk, Astrakhan, and uh, this is uh, not the exhaustive list. It, we can go on uh, adding new and new country, uh, um, cities and regions. Uh, we already mentioned uh, the Far East region, and today we have to consider uh, uh, promising agreements uh, between uh, chemical producers, uh, uh, mine developers, uh, construction companies, microelectronics, quantum and biotechnologies. We see a lot of opportunities in uh, uh, joint development of startups. Uh, implementation of those plans uh, is supported by a firm commitment of our both countries' governments and uh, establishment of new logistic routes. We uh, 
pay special uh, attention to the international uh, transportation corridor from north to south and uh, sea route to Chennai. We've done already a lot, but still there are a lot ahead of us. We uh, should sign an agreement on the, uh, the protection of uh, investments, uh, eliminate non-tariff barriers, uh, strengthen cooperation between our uh, customs, um, consider our free trade in the frame of Eurasian Trade Union, Today, uh, when we managed to uh, uh, um, start uh, our uh, track correctly, we should continue our efforts. Both countries have uh, uh, very uh, uh, reputable uh, uh, trade uh, chambers. And today, it's extremely important to strengthen our bilateral cooperation uh, between uh, relevant authorities uh, that will eliminate unnecessary barriers and strengthen uh, our ties. We need a contemporary infrastructure to facilitate uh, the establishment of links and ties between companies and uh, individuals, and the such infrastructure may include uh, regional and national trade chambers. I believe it will uh, foster the establishment of beneficial uh, trade environment and uh, will contribute to the development of particular specific uh, proposals and offers. Uh, a uh, bottom-up initiative uh, should be uh, welcomed at any uh, level, and uh, the uh, quantity will uh, transform into quality. And uh, we cannot do without uh, these uh, ties. Uh, dear friends, I'm absolutely sure that today you will hear a lot of ideas uh, worthwhile your interest and efforts. Mm, I assume that uh, this uh, discussion uh, will be of high practical value. Uh, I wish you a very fruitful dialogue and uh, uh, success and good luck in all your um, endeavors. And using this opportunity, I would like to uh, wish you Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. <laughs>